Please stick around for this episode of The Coach Approach because we're going to be talking about a really important topic of standards. Get everyone, Coach Craig Rowe from OzSwish Academy and the host of yet another episode of The Coach Approach. And today I thought I would discuss the topic of standards. Now, I've been involved in basketball for over 30 years and it was only in recent years that I've actually stumbled across this concept of a statement of standards. I was actually at a course, it was a, a foster care course, a pre-service training course, and in that course, in the folder was what was called a statement of standards. Now, I belong to a number of basketball associations and clubs in the past, and I've worked for a number of businesses in the past, and I've never, ever been party to an organization and or team that has had a clear statement of standards. So when I was presented with this document and I looked at it, I could see why it was so important. So if you're a coach and or teacher who is beginning coaching, this is probably a little bit of advice that I would give you if you are starting out is develop a statement of standards for your team. So what is a statement of standards? Or more importantly, why is it important to have a statement of standards? So a statement of standards is important because it offers a number of things. Now, for me, there's three core things with some little trimmings on the side that I see as really valuable as to why you would want a statement of standards. So the very first thing I believe a statement of standards does is it actually allows you to hold each other to account. After all, what is a standard? So a standard is basically something that you aspire to. It's a minimal expectation. Now, you don't always meet standards. The idea of a standard is that you're aspiring to meet it and you may have a minimum standard or you may have a higher standard, but ultimately it's around an expectation that you're trying to espouse or aspire to reach that standard. So accountability is something that a standard actually offers. So having a statement of standards allows you to hold each other to account when you don't reach those standards. The other thing you can do with a statement of standards is present core values of your team and or organization. What is it that you're, as a group, what is it that your team and or organization are trying to be? What's important to you? So integrity, trust, all those elements, you know, supporting each other, being decent to each other, their actual values, their things that you value as an organization that help build culture. You can write those things into a statement of standards. And the other thing that I already touched on, which does help with a statement of standards is aspirations. Standards can be aspirational. When people come into your organization and they see that you have standards, it gives them something to aspire to. And I mentioned there was a couple of trimmings. So these are the trimmings I see in the advantage of having standards is standards can provide a level playing field for people. They actually come into the organization and they feel part of the organization because they can see what the organization is trying to do and or team is trying to do. The other thing that I like about organizations and teams that actually have standards is there's transparency. Straight from the get-go, you know what those expectations are. And that is probably the last trimming that I would like to present is this concept of expectations. Standards are aspirations and things you espouse to, but they're also expectations. And all those words are extremely important. So if you're a coach and or teacher that's just starting in, out in coaching, I think that those things are important. Now, I'm not gonna leave you just with that information. OzSwish actually has a statement of standards. Now, to create OzSwish's statement of standards, which I'll actually share with you in a moment, I went looking on Google to find whether there were any basketball teams that actually had a statement of standards. And I searched basketball statement of standards, and sure enough, there was. And that team is actually, or was, the United States team under Coach K. And what actually happened is LeBron and Coach K got into a heated discussion and LeBron wouldn't look Coach K in the eye. So Coach K said, this is unacceptable. We need to have some, you guessed it, standards here. So we got all the players together and he actually created a statement of standards. 
So the OzSwish statement of standards, which I'm about to share with you, is actually based on some of the US statement of standards because I figured if the US team, the best team in the world, can have a statement of standards, then my own academy could and should have a statement of standards as well. And I think if you're a coach starting out, you may well want to create your own statement of standards. How many standards you want to have is entirely up to you and what values you put in it is up to you. It could be that you get your team together as Coach K did to talk about it or you might just want to present the aspirations that you want your athletes to espouse and aspire to. So that's the core thing. So feel free to leave a comment if you do have a statement of standards. I'd love to know your experience. Have you belonged to a team and or organization that has a statement of standards? If so, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you think there's some standards that you would put into a statement of standards, then by all means share those in the comments. And if you actually have a statement of standards, feel free to also throw that in there to share your knowledge with other coaches and give your thoughts around the importance of actually having standards. So if you want to check out the OzSwish Statement of Standards, it's in the description below. One thing I will say about the OzSwish Statement of Standards is it does use the word we a lot. We are all about we, not me. So that is one of the things that's very intentional about our standards. And that's it for another episode of The Coach Approach. Went through this one relatively quick. So if you enjoyed what you saw, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If it's your first time here and you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when new videos are uploaded. And on that note, we do upload videos every day. Coach approaches on Fridays. You can check out our playlists on the YouTube channel to work out what days we upload, what type of videos. We have different playlists there, including interviews. A couple of interviews are actually with Alan Stein Jr. and Kevin Eastman, who are actually talking about this exact topic that I talked about today and the importance of having standards to build culture. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Be sure to come and join us again next week, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for checking out this episode of The Coach Approach. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please take time to leave a like. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet subscribed and also feel free to share your own experience in the comments below. We hope to see you again in the next one.